Hi, I'm Ben Wallace, and welcome to my crib. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben Wallace, I'm 32 years old, and I'm from England. Well, we started talking about moving to America after we got married, so that was 2013. It's kind of silly not to come here if you can do it. We're a bit of a weird couple in that way. We'll decide to do something on the cusp and then just go with it. Like one day we went out to buy rabbit food and we came back with a new sofa. Like, who does that? Everyone comes out to California because of the weather. Having a place like Andy Buckgrove's house is amazing. You've got backyard ramps, you've got the resis, dirt jumps, quarter pipes. It's an awesome place to be. When I was in California, I'd go there. That would be my go-to place to ride. It's a good place to go and learn new tricks and keep on top of your game. Uh, moving to America for us, it was a big move, a big commitment. Leaving the family, that was difficult. And I feel it was a lot harder for Scarlett to leave her family. Initially, when we first moved, I wasn't allowed to work on the visa that we were on and it became quite stressful. I'd gone from working like 60 hours a week to then being in the middle of Riverside where I didn't know anyone and not really having my, anything of my own to focus on. And then we got denied our green cards. So where we're living right now is at Jared Eberwine's house out the back in a trailer. That family's awesome, taking us in. Kind of like tiny living, which is it's pretty tight, but it works. It works really well. It's kind of cool. Here's the bathroom. Tallulah's bedroom. Wash sink area. Bit of a mess, but where can I put it? I think his, his lifestyle is so fast paced and he's just on a plane or in a hotel or whatever, you know, all the time. That's just nice for him to just hang out and chill. Kitchen, bomb site, same thing. Vegan, healthy. We walk in wardrobe, garage, bedroom, movie theater. Uh, Ben's an awesome dad. He's a massive softy. I like that about him. I like that he's not trying to be like Mr. Cool or like Mr. Tough. I have one beautiful little daughter right now. Her name is Tallulah and I have one baby on the way. Okay, I've never really handled a little snake, and this is like straight into the deep end. I don't know, she's just a daredevil. She's 100% her dad. <laughs> I'm not panicking, I was like, we can get him off now. She is a three-year-old teenager with a sassy little attitude that has no fear. If this next girl's anything like Tulula, like, he's gonna have his hands full, that's for sure. She's just an outdoor adventure little puppy. There's always this hierarchy of BMX, you know, girlfriend, cars, but it's 100% Tallulah now. I'm not gonna go to the AC Games and go, nah, I'm happy with last place. Like, hell no, like, this is the biggest contest of the year for us, so I'm gonna go there and I'm going for it. Being at X Games, you are with the best athletes in the world. I grew up learning the old school stuff, learning from TJ Lavin and Stephen Murray and all those guys. Yeah, I kind of keep it old school with the, some of the tricks that I do. For me, getting to go to contests with my family is, is my comfort zone. When Tallulah's around, he doesn't probably even realise he's at a contest. Funnily enough, both X Games that she's been to, she fell asleep right before Dirt Finals was on. But 
Before Ben rides, yeah, I am a mess. I don't ever tell him that. I'm more nervous, not because I think he's gonna get hurt, because I don't. It's more a case of I'm nervous because I want it to be everything that he's worked for it to be. I think I'm pretty competitive. I love the, am I gonna do good today? Is it gonna be my day? Maybe, maybe not, but you get nervous. For some people, that's not what they want. In competitions today, like I look around at some of the riders and I am one of the oldest guys out there. And it's mad to say that because I'm only 32. If I don't make it by just not being the best right then, okay, I've given it my all. Despite my age and the injuries I've had, today I feel stronger on my bike than I've ever been. Yeah, I remember first meeting Scarlett. I was 19, I think. I thought she was beautiful. Like, I loved her at first sight, pretty much, you could say that. He was just a bit of a, like, a bit of a jackass, really. Like, he was just kind of funny, and I was used to hanging around with BMXers because all my friends were BMXers at school, but I never really thought, like, it was a real thing or, like, it was a real job. But, yeah, it was just nice to talk to someone who was super passionate about what they liked. Without her, I wouldn't be me. 13 years we've been together. We have been through some drama, you know. We've been through no sponsors, we've been through moving to one side of the country, to the other side, to investing all our money in trying to make it all work for him. He was always told at school, like, why are you riding your bike? That day I went to start my job it was the same day that Monster Energy called me and asked me to sign for them. And that was it. I was like, right, I'm going to make this happen. These days, yeah, I'm getting older and no one else is going to look after me other than myself. I'm only putting years on my riding career by being stronger and healthier. I want to ride my bike for as long as I can. I mean, I don't want to smoke myself and not be able to ride later on, but you know. It's just who has the dedication at the end of the day and who is taking it seriously. The Olympics is a big deal. It's for also for us to showcase what BMX Freestyle is. And to represent your country in something you love, me man. So he was like, no, screw this. I'm going to give it everything. I don't want to walk away and wish I'd tried harder. Everything's so far away from each other. Beating me. Rich likes to throw all the big cardio workouts at Ben. He will get you going and he will ruin you. Ben gets annihilated every time he goes to the gym. It's almost like he takes everything outside of BMX more seriously, like training and nutrition, so that BMX is still fun. I think BMX stood out to me because I could kind of do it myself. If I got it wrong, it was my fault. Couldn't blame anyone for it. And I loved the freedom of it. I was never at home. I was always outdoors doing something. I was just on it all the time. What do I like riding the most? I will straight up say I love riding dirt the most. Just love that feeling. It's a great social vibe to be at and everyone's just there doing the same thing and everyone's loving it. You know, I think BMX is going to be a part of his life forever, but there's no sign of him slowing down anytime soon. 